2017 was the year of the Mothman in Chicago, and while the sightings took a brief hiatus over the holidays, three new reports this year seem to indicate that the phenomenon will continue into 2018. The last reported sighting prior to the three-month dry spell took place on October 27th around 10.30pm. According to the testimony provided to Manuel Navarrete of UFO Clearinghouse, a boyfriend and girlfriend were spending time together in their car, parked in the community centre in Chicago's Piotrowski Park, when they were startled by something large impacting the vehicle. At first, suspecting they had been struck by another car, they say they soon realised that the actual culprit was a large, solid, black, man-sized winged creature with glowing orange eyes. The thing raked its long clawed fingers against the car and the frightened couple were certain that the monster was trying to get inside and at them. Seemingly at a loss for any other way to defend themselves, the boyfriend grabbed a flashlight kept in the car and shined it at the winged being. The monster shrieked and mercifully flew off into the night. The couple sat in the car for 15 minutes before they were composed enough to confirm that the flying terror had in fact left and beat their own hasty retreat. When you speak to some of these people who have witnessed the impossible, uh, who have these unexplained sightings, it's very difficult to dismiss them. And when you're able to corroborate the, uh, the details of their sighting, uh, as far as geographic location and weather data, then you start to get a sense that they witnessed something incredible. They, they, they've seen something, and it's affected them, and that's worth taking seriously. The first two sightings after the winter holiday break were both submitted to Lon Strickler at Phantoms and Monsters and occurred some distance outside of Chicago, and while they were separated geographically even from each other, as we'll see, they share a startling resemblance to one another. The first of these two sightings took place on January the 27th in Lexington, Illinois, about 120 miles from downtown Chicago, while the second took place in Wilmington, 60 miles northeast of Lexington, just one day later on the 28th. Both witnesses in these sightings describe the creature resembling a weird hybridization of owl and bat-like characteristics that used its large wings to glide silently in between the treetops, unlike the creature reported closer to Chicago, however this being was said to only be between 4 and 5 feet tall. The locations of the sightings are remarkably similar, with both Lexington and Wilmington situated between Army and National Guard bases, wilderness preserves and bordering rivers, the Mackinac River and the Kankakee River respectively. Wilmington is also notable for its abandoned TNT factory, reminiscent of the old TNT area so prevalent in the Point Pleasant, West Virginia Mothman sightings of 1966 and 67. Both sightings were also reported alongside strange military and UFO activity, despite their disparate locations. UFO activity is probably the number one associated um, phenomena. There have been, you know, strange flashes of lights in certain areas, uh, your standard sort of light in the sky, uh, UFO activity. The most recent sighting so far in 2018 came at about 11pm on February the 2nd, and again to UFO Clearinghouse, this time from Oak Park, a village on the western border of Chicago city limits. The three witnesses involved in the sighting had just exited a train and were walking towards one of their apartments when they saw what they described as a tall man with glowing ruby eyes and very large black wings. The trio noticed the flying humanoid when it landed under a streetlight across the street from them, and after a few seconds it spread its wings and took off into the night sky. The frightened witnesses then hurried to the relative safety of the nearby apartment. They freely admitted that their activities prior to the sighting did involve alcohol, but were insistent that they could discern reality from hallucination. Interestingly, Oak Park is just 10 miles from Lake Michigan and is bordered on the southwest by the Fullersburg Woods Forest Preserve and the Des Plaines River to the south. Once again, we see the same patterns emerging in these stories of strange flying humanoids near Chicago. They most often seem to occur at night, near parks or wilderness areas, and in close proximity to bodies of water. What exactly that pattern means has yet to reveal itself. You know, I, I think personally that some of the brief sightings of a large dark flying object or, or creature that occur in natural areas are almost certainly uh, misidentified animals. You know, likely large birds like herons or cranes. But, you know, there are plenty of reports where if you believe the witness, and in many cases there there isn't much reason not to, then a misidentified animal could possibly explain it. And in other news of our paranormal world, mysterious Yorkshire UFO reappears and is debunked. 
Samples from the Silpho UFO, which allegedly crashed in Yorkshire in 1957, had been lost for nearly 60 years. This week, the Yorkshire Post broke the news that the wreckage has been found in a tin cigarette box in the Science Museum London, where it had been analysed by metallurgists and the Natural History Museum, and sadly found to be man-made. A lost city discovered in Guatemala changes what we know of ancient Maya civilization. In an area of over 800 square miles, the Pucanam Foundation has discovered more than 60,000 man-made features connecting other heritage areas under the Maya Biosphere Reserve. Sites like Tikal and Holmol, which are known for their temples and pyramids. Using new technology, they have discovered a lost network of advanced infrastructure, which may have supported an urban population of 10 to 15 million people some 1,200 years ago. Researchers at Queen's University Belfast unlock more information about interstellar object Oumuamua. By analysing the way the light is reflected off the surface, the team found indications of broad compositional variations, suggesting the interstellar asteroid collided with another object in space. This, they say, would account for its chaotic rotation and how its path crossed so close to our own. Trail of damage appears across Olympic National Park, Washington, without explanation. Over 100 old-growth trees have been knocked down in varying amounts and directions along the banks of Lake Quinault. There is no ground indication of high winds and no strong convection, thunderstorms or microbursts were found at that time period. Sensors at the epicentre of the tree fall have picked up a localised seismic event, but no explanation for any of this activity has been found yet. You can find the sources for these stories in the description below. And finally, a huge thanks to everyone who checked out our Patreon and have decided to support us. Our first shout-out goes out to James Sagstetter. Your support is hugely appreciated. 